so hello all good morning in this one we going to learn how to move all those first of all how to get that file extension which all file has just like jpg dot csp dot xls how to get all those file extension and then create corresponding folder and move all of the respective document into that folder so now we'll go and see in runtime so first we need to import uh, os so now i imported now to get current directory where we are so now i can see that i am here so if you can go and see that video block code and python files so i am in that current directory so now what i will do current directory i will assign in file name so it's assigned now first thing what i tried to do here i am I'm going to see loop on all those file names which are present there and then see that file and print them so we can see here we have all those files dot i by way checkpoints and the others so we are getting that all file names also is coming here but that is folder you will get to know how we can remove that as well so we are getting it here all those name file name all of them corresponding it's looping and displaying all those name here so now next one is there now a split we can do that a split function to a split that here all file name is there now here i try to that file dot split with dot where or dot is there so we try to split it so if we can see here now dot we have extension so what we do so we created now see here that name dot png jpeg i python file csp xls all those we are getting that comma separated to two values so now what we can do as we know to get that last one we can put that directly minus one so we get only extension files okay so as we know few of them are not in this one file and before to this one more thing is there here we use that split text a split only and then we are getting it out so now we have other function as well in pathlib we can split text use that file name then we can get that so i will first run this one so a split text of file what it's going to do it will split that file into name so see here that how it's splitting a split text file name so this is that name dot it's going to keep that dot and it's splitting all those and now file extension if you put that path of file and then suffix then suffix will one of that function that will return us dot extension of this file name so we are getting it here so we can either use a split text or we can use that split and minus one then we will get this or a split then we can get it here comma separated in this similar way but in a split only difference is that we will not get dot and if we do that suffix then we will get that with dot extension name so now coming to other one so as we know now i will run this one so as we know that few of them are uh, not that file and still it was coming previously so now if we can go and see that i python it's coming but if we go and look it here then this is folder and all file is also folder this is not that file so that each file is that one uh, function that it's going to check if it's equals to true then only a split and display so now it's we saw that now it's not coming this file and all files both of them if we go we are not getting in that below one so if we use that each file and we can check that equals to true then only it will display then only we'll get that all those files not that folders so it's only to check that all those files so now moving it down so now see if we run this one here what i try to do first i'm checking that is that file then a split and create that one of that make directory function is there so you're passing that directory name and then if exist exist okay it's used if it exists then dot create and if it's not then create it so see right now we have all those files and there are no folders except these two so now if i run this one if i go it here now we saw that all edits created all csv file doc file 
ipython file and all everything is got created now here okay so now if we go ahead and now see we got that now here one more thing i added here if condition so now suppose right now we have created here all those so from this one we are not create checking that if extension directory name that extension which one we need to create it so it's creating that for python file as well because we have that extension here so it's created already so now i don't want to create that this file because i don't want to move my python file to in this folder so now what i will do first thing i will go ahead and delete it so that we can see again after checking that is that going to really create or not so now i already deleted but we have that python file so i'm same thing i'm doing directory so now after split i'm checking that extension not equals to this then only go and create that directory and then move that file into that corresponding things so now if i run this one if i go it here see now only we have that i file here that python file and here no python file is created now if we go to csp two files is moved how many files are there it's automatically moved to that corresponding things so in this way we can automate it and we can arrange our systems by creating that based on that extension and move that folders there so i hope you like this video please let me know if any other things in it thank you